Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. So guys, here I am yet again with a new Deloitte NLA interview experience for 2025 batch students. Okay, so this interview also is latest. It happened today only. That is on 28th November 2024. So guys, make sure that you are watching this video till the end because see, in interviews, many different, different types of questions do get asked and some of the questions might repeat in your interviews also. So make sure to watch this video till the end. Okay, before moving ahead, do motivate us by hitting that like button as well as the subscribe button for this channel and guys for 2025 batch students we have a dedicated telegram group okay you can see this group you can join this group for various companies discussion the link of this particular group i will give you in the description box as well as in the pinned comment so make sure to join it so guys now let's start this video and before starting the video please hit that like button Okay, so guys, the first question is tell me about yourself and guys, believe me, this is the very most important question of the interview. Okay, in this particular question, you can include your introduction, oh, sorry, your skills, your education background, your extracurricular activities, your achievements, your projects, your internships, all these things, your hobbies also, all these things you can include in the tell me about yourself section. Okay, so it will be a good answer to prepare for. Your answer should be should lie in between one to one and a half minutes. Okay. Next question is explain your project and what are the difficulty phase in your project. So guys, again, I have told you that whenever you are given give, giving the interviews for the IT company, try to make at least one or two projects, IT related projects in your resume. It will be a good impression on the interviewer. It will tell the interviewer that okay, this candidate has like done has some working experience of the technologies. Okay. So and he has worked in a team environment also so make sure to add project in that in in the resume okay next question is what are the difficulty phase in your project so guys whenever you are doing any project there will be some difficulties like in machine learning projects there will be a difficulty of like loading the data set because data sets are very huge so these type of difficulties you can discuss with the interviewer and what was the like how did you resolve them okay so all these things you can discuss next question is what is polymorphism Polymorphism is the ability to perform many things in many ways. Okay, so polymorphism means many forms. Okay, many forms. There is two types of polymorphism: compile time polymorphism and runtime polymorphism. Compile time polymorph polymorphism is also known as uh, function overloading, whereas runtime polymorphism is also known as runtime. Oh, sorry, is also known as method overriding. Again, the difference between method overloading and method overriding is very common. So do check that out. Okay okay so guys the next question is what is exception handling now see whenever we are writing a piece of code there might be some exception that is coming there so what we'll do we write the risky code that might throw an exception in the try block okay and then in the catch block we catch a particular exception okay like whenever a uh, exception occurs in try block what action we need to perform so that we write in the catch block next is the finally block so guys, irrespective of the fact whether the try or catch happens, the finally block will always run. Okay. So yeah, this is what our exception handling is. Next question is, what are the types of exceptions? So type of exceptions can be checked exception, unchecked exceptions, errors. Checked exceptions can be input output exceptions, SQL exceptions. Whereas unchecked exceptions can be null pointer exceptions, arithmetic exceptions. And then there are errors like out of memory error, stack overflow error like we run into an infinite loop. So all these type of <coughs> errors we have. So I hope now there are what are the different types of exception is clear to you. Now guys, before moving ahead in the video, if you do not know that from where you should prepare for the interviews, I know there are many resources, many wide resources that are present on the internet. But if you want to get a single resource from which, where you can prepare all the important subjects, then on our top mid page of Code Bashers, we have important interview IT subject notes. Okay, so in these particular notes, first of all, total 1646 students have already bought it and we have a good rating of 4.3 out of 5. Now, in these particular notes, we have total 12 subjects that are covered. Okay, 12 subjects, 12 PDFs are present in these particular notes. Each subject PDF can consist of at least 20 to 25 important questions as well as their answers. Okay, so if I will, let's show you the sample of a Java PDF. Okay. So we have the question, we have the proper answer for it and whenever the, wherever the code is possible, we have given the code also. 
and this is valid for all the subjects that are listed here for every subject there is a dedicated pdf of around 20 to 25 important interview questions okay so these particular notes are will be <coughs> feasible for you not only for preparing for deloitte but for every company okay because see these subjects are very common for all the companies so i hope now everything is clear about the notes if you are interested these are at a very normal price of rupees 109 and the links are in the description box as well as in the pinned comment do check them out and some sample are given here also so do check them out for every subject we have here okay so if you are doing uh, if you want to do last minute preparation or want to revise your concepts then these notes can be beneficial for you the links you can find in the description box as well as in the pinned comment now let's just continue with the video next question was what is sql so sql stands for structured query language what are the operations in sql there is data querying there is data manipulation there is data definition now i will not go in detail of this but yeah on the high level but this is what a sql is next question is what are different types of joins so first of all there is inner join this one is the inner join then there is left join then there is right, right join then there is left outer join then there is right outer join okay and full outer join is there and this one uh, then there is one self join also so these are different types of join and the, uh, the uh, what I will say the definition of each join is different but it's very simple to learn I hope now the joins are clear to you next question is what is cyber security why the question of cyber security was asked but because the project was based on cyber security so therefore your technologies that are used in your project are very much important okay so yeah next question is what are types of cyber crime so cyber crime can be hacking phishing identity theft ransomware attack cyber stalking financial fraud so all these type of uh, are the cyber crimes that are there next question is why do you choose cyber security so again based on your actual reason you can give to the interviewer that this was the reason that i chose cyber security next question was tell me about deloitte what do you know about deloitte and the last question of this interview was why do you want to join us so for every company it's valid okay so guys this was all for this video if you found this video informative do hit that like and subscribe button okay and do join this charism group okay this charism group is dedicated for 225 by students okay all the discussion for different different companies are happening here so make sure to join it and if you're interested in the notes then you can check out the links you can find in the description box or, or in the pinned comment so guys thank you for watching this video